धर्म प्रोडक्शन एंड शकुन बत्रा प्रेजेंट्स कपूर एंड सन्स नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू इंडिस इन एग्लिट्स चैनल द मूवी बिगिन्स विद एन ओल्ड मैन हु सडनली फेंट्स वाइल हैविंग ब्रेकफास्ट बट हिज सन हर्ष एंड डॉटर इन लॉ सुनीता इग्नोर्स हिम एंड गो अबाउट देयर रूटीन द ओल्ड मैन वॉज रिहर्सिंग हिज फेक डेथ विच हैड नाउ बिकम हिज रूटीन एंड हिज फैमिली वॉज टायर्ड ऑफ इट Harsh Kapoor's financial condition is not that well and due to this there is a rift between him and his wife Sunita. On the other hand, their elder son Rahul Kapoor is a successful writer who lives in London and their younger son Arjun who is a bartender lives in New Jersey who is also struggling to be a writer. One day both the brothers learn that their grandfather has suffered a heart attack and is in ICU. They both immediately reach their home in India. But that night during the dinner Discord comes to the fore in the Kapoor family along with Harsh and Sunita there is also a tussle between Rahul and Arjun as the eldest son and a successful writer Rahul is the darling of his parents and got all their attention annoyed by this Arjun is upset with his family so he expresses his displeasure by creating a ruckus over little things to attract the attention of his parents that's why when Sunita tells them about starting her own catering business Harsh scoffs at her and Arjun fights with his mother over using his room from this we get to know that all is not well in the kapoor family the next morning both the brothers visit their grandfather who is now out of danger he is very happy to see them after a long time arjun meets his old friend in the hospital who invites him to a party and harsh advises rahul to buy some property there and gives him a broker's number The doctors tell the Kapoor family that grandfather will have to be sent to Bangalore city for further treatment for which Harsh does not have enough money so Harsh wants to take the financial help from his younger brother Shashi but Sunita refuses it and asks him to break her fixed deposit but then Harsh tells her that he has already broken her fixed deposit to repay his loan which leads to a huge fight between the two and Sunita accuses Harsh of having an extramarital affair and spending all the money on his mistress just then Arjun comes from outside and their fight escalates Rahul tells Arjun to stop being childish and Arjun blames his family for giving him all their attention and making him feel like an outsider now they all are fighting among themselves and a scuffle starts between Rahul and Arjun when Arjun storms out in anger Sunita rushes to calm him down But Arjun reveals that the reason he is angry with Rahul is that he stole his idea for his novel that has made Rahul so successful today but he still struggling as a writer from there Arjun goes straight to his friend's party there he meets Dia a very funny and lively girl she tells Arjun that she is looking for a buyer to rent out her property the two of them instantly become friends and have a blast in party the next day Harsh tells Rahul that money has been arranged for his grandfather's further treatment and admits to him that his life has become very difficult due to his financial constraints. Rahul, who is close to Harsh and has always supported him, then consoles him and encourages him to keep fighting. But at the hospital, the grandfather categorically refuses further treatment and instead asks to fulfill his last two wishes that after his death he be buried in a military cemetery and secondly to be photographed with his entire family with the title Kapoor and Sons. Later, Rahul apologizes to Arjun and requests him to put aside their differences and ease the family situation by spending some happy and quality time together. They plan a party for their grandfather's 90th birthday coming up next week. The next day, Rahul goes to see the rental property which belongs to Tia. Tia takes a liking to Rahul at first sight and tries to flirt with him. Rahul also finds her a very funny and interesting person and they become friends. One day Rahul asks Sunita to come to London with him but Sunita is happy in India and wants Rahul to marry a beautiful girl and give her grandchildren he then goes to Tia's house to inspect the property and from there they both go to a restaurant for dinner they party and get drunk drunk Tia who is attracted to Rahul then kisses him awkward Rahul says good night and leaves while Tia is embarrassed by her stupidity The next day, Tia and Arjun meet at a scheduled event and spend time together. Arjun then tells her about his childhood, that how his brother received more love and attention than him, and how his brother stole his idea and wrote a book on it, whose success belongs to him. To Arjun, 
That's why he's angry with his brother. Tia then tells about herself too that she was orphaned at the age of 13 and always misses her family. She makes him realize the importance of having a family and considers him lucky to have it. On his birthday the following week, Grandpa is discharged from the hospital and Harsh brings him home where a surprise party is organized for him. Arjun also invites Tia where she learns that Rahul is Arjun's brother. She apologized to Rahul for being childish. But Arjun is not happy to see Rahul and Tia's friendship. He gets jealous and takes Tia away from Rahul. Everyone is enjoying the party. But a lady named Anu turns up at their party which Sunita suspects having an affair with her husband. She gets angry seeing her and asks her to leave. Anu apologizes to Sunita and leaves. But this leads to a big fight between Sunita and Harsh. Both Rahul and Arjun try to control them. But the situation worsens and their bickering spills out and eventually ruins their party. That evening, distraught Rahul and Arjun discuss their family problems. Arjun then tells Rahul that he is still struggling to become a writer. Rahul then offers him help to reach some agents. When Arjun asks Rahul about Tia, Rahul says that he is not interested in her and that he is happy with the relationship he already has. The next day, grandfather calls everyone and tries to settle the family feud. Everyone obeys him and ends that argument. The grandfather then asks Harsh to call his younger son Shashi there and sends Arjun to book a place for his grave. Arjun takes Tia there with him, where Tia confesses to Arjun that she likes him and asks him to stay in India for a few more days. Meanwhile, at home, Rahul finds Arjun's novel draft in his room and reads it, which Arjun has hidden from everyone and secretly puts it back when Arjun returns home. That night, Harsh's younger brother Shashi and his family arrives, which eases the tension in that house and everyone enjoys the family time together. Harsh realizes his mistake and apologizes to Sunita and asks her to forget the past and start their life afresh and have a happy family again, to which Sunita agrees. The next day, Rahul and Arjun take their uncle Shashi to finalize Tia's rental property and Harsh also goes out to the mechanic to fix his car. Meanwhile at home, Sunita uses Rahul's laptop to send some emails to her friend but is shocked to see some of his photos on it. Tia tells Arjun that today is her birthday but she is not happy because on the same day, her parents died in a plane crash and she didn't even get to say goodbye to them, which she will regret for the rest of her life. Along with this, she also tells Arjun that she accidentally kissed his brother Rahul. On the other hand, while returning from Tia's house, Rahul suddenly stops at a place and asks his uncle to go ahead. He sees his father's car parked in front of a house. He calls his father, but Harsh lies about his whereabouts, further increasing Rahul's suspicions. When he enters that house, he finds that the house belongs to Anu and her father is sitting in her bedroom. Rahul is shocked and hurt. On that same day, as per the wish of grandfather, the photoshoot of the entire family has to be held at their home. At first, a troubled Rahul returns home. Sunita immediately confronts him and asks the truth he is hiding from her. Rahul then confesses that he is gay and has a boyfriend back in London and not a girlfriend. Knowing this, Sunita gets angry and warns him not to tarnish the family's name. An argument ensues between the two and an angry Rahul also reveals the truth about his father that he is having an affair and she couldn't save her marriage. Now Harsh returns home. Rahul confronts him and condemns him for breaking his trust on the outside. Everyone is ready for the photo shoot and grandfather is calling everyone out. But Harsh and his family are stuck in their own problems. At last, Arjun returns home, somewhat offended. Everyone gathers for the photo. But Harsh's family members are upset with each other. They are fake smiling and trying to look happy. But Sunita has had enough and walks away, saying that she can no longer pretend to be in a happy family that doesn't even exist. Harsh goes after her. Sunita then confronts him and asks whether Rahul was telling the truth or not. Harsh then confesses that he had gone to Anu, but just to end his relationship with her. Sunita now breaks down, hurt by her son and husband. Unable to bear this tension, Harsh leaves in his car. Grandfather and Shashi also gets worried seeing their tension and try to defuse the situation. 
Rahul then explains to Sunita that he's tired of carrying the burden of his family's expectations and being their perfect son. He wants to be accepted for who he is and be happy with his family. Amidst this tension, Arjun finds Rahul's pen in his room in the draft of his novel. Angered by this, he goes out of control and attacks Rahul. He curses Rahul for stealing his idea once again and calls him a thief. Shashi and Sunita intervenes and breaks their fight. But now, Sunita also has a truth for Arjun. She tells him that Arjun has never showed any seriousness in his life. He left his studies incomplete and later left all the jobs in between. Because of this, she thought that he would never be able to complete the book he was writing at that time. But at the same time, Rahul, who is stuck writing a book and struggling with its plot, Sunita secretly gives Rahul the plot and the idea of Arjun's book, which later become a bestseller. Arjun, who always considers himself second best to his brother, as Rahul has always been the perfect son to his mother. All her love and attention was focused on Rahul, for whom Arjun yearned since his childhood. That's why he wanted to prove himself in the eyes of his mother by writing this book, which she stole and gave to her perfect son. Hurt and distressed, this was too much for Arjun to bear and he storms out in the rain. Why are we so far apart, even though we are so close? Why is there so much distance here, despite living under the same roof? In this turmoil, Harsh meets with an accident in which he dies. This grief eventually forced his family to set aside their differences and be together for some time. Meanwhile, Rahul clears Arjun's misconception about Tia that he is not interested in any girl and Tia is nothing but a friend to him. After few weeks, Rahul and Arjun go back to their workplaces, leaving Sunita and grandfather in India. They now have some unforgettable memories to cherish. Then one day, both of them get a heartwarming video message from their grandfather to come to India to meet him once after which both returned to India. But now, they have started to understand each other. They now begin to feel that family is their greatest asset and their love has grown far beyond their grievances. They have now started respecting and caring for each other. And finally, they fulfill their grandfather's wish by taking a picture of the entire Kapoor family with a cutout of Harsh. Now, they have become a real happy family. So this was our favorite movie of the day. If this movie is streaming in your country, then I'm sure you will definitely watch it. Do tell us your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Take care.